Graphing rational functions without calculus, part three. Uh, here we have another example, y equals 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 over x minus 2. And again, we set uh, x to 0 to find the y-intercept. And, and when we set x to 0, we get negative 6 over negative 2, which gives us positive 3. And there's our y-intercept. That was pretty easy. And then we're going to do x-intercepts next. And remember, when we do uh, x-intercepts, uh, we set y to zero, and really all we have to do is set the top, the denominator, uh, excuse me, the numerator to zero, because whatever makes the numerator equal to zero, whatever x values, will also make the expression zero. And we're lucky, this is a quadratic, we don't have to use the quadratic formula. Uh, it factors, and we set each factor to zero, and we get x equals three-fourths, and x equals negative two. So we have two x-intercepts, notice they're to the first power each, so they're going to go through the x-axis, which is a helpful thing to know. Um, the next step is um, lead term test, where we take the highest power on top and the highest power on the bottom. Um, and we say that y is approximately, in this case, 4x squared over x. Is in it the highest power on the bottom is x, and the highest power term, or the lead term on the top, is 4x squared. So this is going to behave very similar to the function y equals 4x as x goes to plus and minus infinity. Or we say there is no horizontal asymptote, but there is what's known as an oblique or slant asymptote. And we could do a long division on this. and We'd end up with 4x plus 13 over this little um, uh, fraction here. And as x gets very big, this will just go to 0, which will be approximately 4x plus 13. So really, our function behaves like 4x plus 13 as x goes to plus and minus infinity. Now, for our purposes here with curve sketching, I'm not going to draw this uh, slant or oblique asymptote, but it's good to know that it's there. Um, we're going to make this function behave like 4x um, or 4x plus 13, either one. In other words, it's going to go to infinity this way and infinity this way, right? And uh, so we know how it's going. And I draw a little graph here. See, I've got the graph going to infinity this way and infinity this way, just like a positive slope line would go. And we don't know what's happening here near 0. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, symmetry. We don't have any symmetry. You can check that out. Put a negative x in the function. You'll find that you'll neither get function of x or negative function of x, neither one of those results. Um, <clears throat> Uh, vertical asymptotes, okay. Vertical asymptotes, and given that the uh, function is in reduced form, and this one is, this by the way is negative, I'm sorry, this is, I didn't replace this, but really it should be negative. Uh, there we go, now it's fixed. Uh, here we set the denominator, in this case x minus 2 equal to 0, and we get uh, a vertical asymptote on the line x equals 2, because that makes this function undefined here. Okay, step six is place all the intercepts and asymptotes on the um, axis here. And we've got my two intercepts, x-intercepts, my y-intercept, vertical asymptote. And we know, really, that if, if you really want to do an advanced approach, you could put a slant asymptote that hits 13. Kind of hard to, to draw that in, though. It's pretty tough to do. But uh, we're going to just say that it goes to infinity this way and infinity this way when we start. So if we're cruising in from infinity in this direction, we can't go through this vertical asymptote. So we have to go, we either go down to infinity or we go up to infinity. Well, if we go down, we're going to end up going through the x-axis and there's no x-intercept. So our only choice is to go like this and then go up like that. Okay. Here we're coming cruising in from this negative infinity direction. So we come in, we go through here, we have to go through the y-intercept, come down through the x-intercept. Oops, let me get rid of that. Come down through the x-intercept. And then we have a choice of either going down this way or going up this way. Well, once we're through this x-axis, there are no more x-intercepts. So the only choice is to go down this way. So the function is going to go down up like this. And then it's going to come from negative infinity, go like this, and go down this uh, asymptote there. And here's an approximation of how the function is going to look. See, it comes down and goes like this. It comes from negative infinity, goes up and around, and then down again. Now, if you wanted to um, get a picture of this on your graphing calculator, here I put the I've typed the function in again. I've given you a, a window for graphing here that, that works pretty well. You might want to stop the movie and, 
and type this all this in and see if this is roughly true and you can see more details of the graph when you do.